Somebody praise the Lord. Thank you, our executive governor of Ogun State. I praise the Lord for you and for the miracle of dominion in your life. And I pray the dominion you've got will expand, will increase, will deepen, will go higher, and you'll be a blessing to Ogun State and even beyond Ogun State in Jesus' name. And the victory and the triumph and the dominion on number one will pass on to you. Yeah. What are you? Help me shout dominion. dominion. Tonight is coming your way. Yeah. I will receive. Yeah. And to those who are in our global audience, I welcome you and I want to tell you that tonight is a special night in your life. Anywhere you are, the power of the Lord will get to you right there. Dominion. Over there, dominion. Here, dominion. Thank you, choir. You have special dominion tonight. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and all you are still doing. I'm asking tonight dominion for every life. The great power, the great authority of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Transform every life. And I pray, Lord, you'll do mighty, great, unforgettable things in every life tonight, in Jesus' name. Confirm your word in every life. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, we're still talking about dominion. Tonight, I want to find out how do we have dominion. I mean, fresh dominion for today. Full dominion over every challenge we have in life. And then a final dominion. There comes a final day for anyone here on earth that you pass from earth to the other side. And yet, at that time, the dominion you had in life will not be sufficient. But then you have final dominion and then you go on not in defeat you go on not in doubt you go on having understanding having the assurance there is final dominion and so i come tonight talking to you on the secret of fresh full final dominion now, you might be on the line. That is, there is, let's draw the line from the commencement to the consummation. From the beginning to the very end. And then you are traveling and moving on on that line. We call it a continuum. That you're moving on and moving on and moving on until you get to the final destination. You have not got the final dominion. That means then we depend on Christ at the beginning. We depend on Christ all through the journey. And we depend on Christ at the final end of the journey. Fresh, number one. Full, number two. Final, number three. You will not miss your dominion. The secret of fresh, full, final dominion. Look at Romans chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 37. It says, nay. Let me stop there for a moment. Somebody cannot just jump into a sentence and say, nay. Something had been going on before. It's like a conversation in his mind. This comes against your life. How can you survive? This comes against your journey. How can you survive? You have a great vision, but this comes against the vision. How can you make it in life? And then the man responded and he says, Nay. He says no to the devil. 
and no to every circumstance and no to every sin that will bring defeat in his life as you come tonight and the devil threatens you and he says you can't go on you can't move on you can't succeed you can't overcome the powers that be are greater than whatever strength you have then you say nay somebody help me shout nay okay the modern version of that is no everybody say no you say no to anyone that will hinder your progress in life and that no is coming from the very depth of your heart because you have confidence and trust and faith in the lord jesus christ and so you say no in all these things in all these things i will go through you will go through like they went through the river that is the red sea in the red sea nay in all these things were pharaoh there were the armies of pharaoh there and with the mountains all around them in all these things we are more than conquerors i like to personalize the word of god it's of just saying a general we a we that has no face, I say, I am more than a conqueror. It can happen tonight that you conquer every challenge that comes against your life. I see Brother Victor there. I see Sister Victoria there. You will overcome. You will not be a victim in Jesus' name. Nay. We, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him. That's the only way. That's the secret. Through him that loved us. Tonight, by the time you get connected with him, the Christ, the Savior, your shepherd, by the time you get connected with him tonight, you can face any challenge. And you can climb any mountain. And you can tell whatever it is. A personality. A kind of power. Beyond you there. You can say nay. In all these things. I am more than a conqueror through him. That loved me. It will be performed in your life in Jesus name. And look at one verse of scripture more in my introduction. That's in First John chapter 4 verse 4. First John chapter 4 verse 4 it says ye of god little children ye of god little children now understand it's not talking to babes and infants and toddlers it's talking to everyone you know when the ancient of days is talking to anyone even if you are 80 or 90 or 100 you're still a little child let's say for example now you have somebody who's 1000 years old and you are 100 years old 100 is 1 over 10 of 8,000 and so the one that is 1,000 years of age can tell the one that is 100 years of age a little child now 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 eternity infinite he is the eternal one and the eternal one can tell you no matter where you are on the line you can say little child little children ye of God and have overcome them that's dominion. Overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And tonight, the greater one will dwell inside you. Now, we can know Christ at different levels. There is somebody that will say, I know Christ. Uh -huh, I understand. You've been to Sunday school and you've heard Sunday school teacher mentioning Christ. I know Christ. You know him in the book, a pharaoh. He has not touched you. 
He has not transformed you. He has not done anything there. I know him. And then later, you begin to read by yourself. And you become a kind of conversant with Christ. You open Matthew, you meet Jesus there. You open Mark, you meet Jesus there. Everywhere, then you say, now I know him. Yes, that's a level. You're a little bit familiar with the story of his life. And then you had about his birth, about his death, about his resurrection. And you have had it so long that you say, I know him. He died on the cross of Calvary. But now, the another level another level of knowing him that you now say i saw him i believed in my heart i accepted in my heart he died for me and because he died for me i get salvation i get new life i get eternal life from him now you know him he is your savior and tonight you will know him and when you know him like that, in a personal way, a personal way of relationship with him, you know him and then we can say, ye yeah, of God, little children, and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you. He now comes in you. It's not just in the book. It's not just in the Bible. It's not just from the storyteller. It's not just from a teacher. He lives in you because he is in you. And then it says that he is greater than he that is in the world. All the great powers that have pinned you down, held you down tonight, you have dominion. I have dominion. Three things we're looking at in this message. Number one is the heritage of full victory and daily dominion. The heritage we have, and it is full victory and daily dominion. Point number two is the history of forgotten virtues by displaced dreamers. There are people that dream throughout life. They imagine throughout life. The dreamers, they're not dynamic. They do nothing. They act in no way. They're just dreaming. I have a dream. I'm going to be this. They don't put action to their intention. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be mighty. It's just a dream. And their dream displaces them from the path of action. Now today, you can be a dreamer and then you come to the path of action that leads you to a great destination. Great destination awaiting you. Good destination awaiting you. You know, when I hear some amen, I say, those are people coming from the village, village amen, but now we're talking about Ogo Central amen. You will reach that goal. You will reach that destiny. The power of the Lord, the might of the Lord that will lift you up, that will support you, and that will raise you to the pedestal where you ought to be tonight. It will be manifested in your life in Jesus' name. But there is a secret, and that's what I'm going to tell you. That's why we're here tonight. If there were, if there were no secrets, then everybody should have been there. If the knowledge, if the revelation is available to everyone, and I can pick it on the side of the road, I can pick it from anyone, I can just, you know, be roaming about and pick it there, everybody would have been there. But it's because it's not available to everyone. That's why it's the secret of fresh and full and final dominion. I thank God you are here tonight. Something is going to happen in your life unforgettable. Number three is the healing of feeble victims with diverse diseases. The people 
were so feeble, they don't even know whether they have any goal anymore, any desire anymore, any destination anymore. They're feeble in their mind. They're feeble in their brain. They're feeble in their intention. They're feeble in the physical. They're feeble in the spiritual. They're feeble in any way, every way. And so they become victims. But tonight, the Lord will touch your life. It will heal you in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit, in your inner man. You will rise up like a giant and like an achiever and you will get to where you ought to get to in Jesus' name. Healing of feeble victims with diverse diseases. I come to number one. Number one, we're looking at the heritage of full victory and daily dominion daily dominion daily dominion now there's no point 365 days of the year somebody said i had victory one day i said that's great how about the following day he said i don't know what happened i lost it how about the following week i don't know what happened i couldn't keep it how about the following day the powers of the following days they were greater than my strength but one day i can remember i had dominion uh -uh. we're talking about daily dominion in your life daily victory in your life and daily triumph in your life that every day the blessing of god and the touch of god will be upon your life that's why we can smile every day that's why we're joyful every day that's why we're happy every day that's why we have testimony for every day testimony every day in your life in jesus name now look at psalm 68 and i'm reading from verse 19 psalm 68 reading from verse 19 blessed be the lord who daily loadeth us with many things. Blessed be the Lord. As for the promise of God, He wants to do it daily. As for the victory He gives us, He wants to shovel that to you every day. As for the confidence we have in God, as for the authority we have in Christ, He wants you to have that every day. And He says, Blessed be the Lord who daily every day daily loadeth us with benefits i'm inquisitive psalmist tell me how is it he daily loads you with benefit are you his favorite did you happen to be in a special place and because of that special place he daily loads you with benefit he said i'll tell you my secret i discovered that when benefits are being given out, if I'm far away, I keep myself away, he wants to load me with the benefit, but because I'm far away, then I'm not able to have the benefit. I, I hear you, you are telling me I shall come near. Yes, that's exactly the message. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest as you live where you are. Every one of us were far away from God. We're far away in the jungle of sin. We're far away in all those areas we have gone where God says we shall not go when the wilderness far away and we want his benefit and then you come and whosoever comes unto him he will in no wise cast off you are coming tonight and as you come to Christ and say Lord here I am I want you to forgive my sin I'm a sinner I'm an evil person and I want you to take my sins away and you come near to Calvary and you come near to the place he died for you and shed his blood for you he will load you with benefit tonight David is still talking and I said Samis tell me are there some people that do not have the daily benefits he said yes I said who are those they are the people that are opposed to God the God of heaven and the God our creator a God is on the right they are on the wrong God is good they are bad God is nice 
they are evil. Their ways are the opposite of the way of God, of the thoughts of God. I say, is there any hope for them? And he says, yeah, there is hope for them. What's the hope for them? They abandon that evil, they abandon that iniquity, and they abandon that darkness, and they abandon all those evil things, and they come to the light. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. And when you come and you follow Christ, you will not walk in darkness anymore. Whatever you are, you know, you are doing, you have to cover with darkness whatever you are doing you have to enter into that dark shed, a shelter or shed and nobody will know you are like an angel in the open you are a church man a church woman you are a religious person during the day but in the night in the night of idolatry you go to that idol worship and when you go to that idol worship you are in the dark ah you're far away you're opposed to god and because of that the loading with the benefits of the lord far from you but tonight as you say what am i doing there that thing does not profit i come i come i come and as you come the lord will bring you in he'll pull you in he'll take you out of that darkness and you come into the light tonight in jesus name and then the initial blessing that he loads you with that is salvation the joy of salvation the peace that comes with salvation the triumph that comes with salvation the new life that comes with salvation because you left the darkness, you left the iniquity, you left the evil, and you came to the Lord, and then you can shout and you can sing with the psalmist, blessed be the Lord, because now he is your Lord, he is your Savior, he is your Redeemer, he is your Shepherd, he is the one who has saved your soul, blessed be my Lord, who daily loadeth me with benefits even the god of our salvation you see that that's exactly what i was telling you it's when we know him as the god of our salvation that all those daily benefits will come what are the daily benefits the joy the victory the answered prayer the healing the deliverance the provision every good good thing it will load you with blessing in jesus name Look at the first part of verse 20 there. In verse 20, it tells us he that is our God is the God of salvation. He that is our God, not the God of destruction. When you come to the Lord, what will he do to you? Is the God of salvation. He will give you salvation. It's the God of love. He will show his love to you. It's the God of power. He will manifest his power in your life. It says he that is our God is the God of salvation. And tonight, as you come, the Lord himself will benefit your life. Will bless your life. I'm telling you, today will mark the beginning of a glorious life, of a great life, of an unforgettable life in your life in Jesus' name. Look at John chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 10. John chapter 10 verse 10. It said, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That word thief there is the title for Satan, for the devil. It, you know, talking directly, Satan cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. We can talk, talk, talk directly, the devil cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Look at that word cometh. The devil cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Look up here. There are people... They are even in a hurry to come under the dominion of Satan, of the devil. They don't allow the devil to come to them. They say, devil, where are you? Satan, where are you? Any cult there? Any gang there? Any evil going on there? Any event of evil there? Instead of even waiting for the devil to come, 
they say the devil is too slow and they go to the devil themselves and they say hey, i'm here i'm cheap i'm available you can steal every good thing belonging to me it steals their brain it steals their understanding and they go through life as if there's no gumption there is no brain there's no mind they destroy themselves and then to kill and he kills the dream and he kills the intention and the power and the aspiration and the ambition in them and then he destroys them the thief cometh not but only for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But today, you came here so you can escape from the hand of the devil. I escape. I escape. And then he says, I am calm. I am calm that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly now look at this when people went to the devil there was so much in a hurry they rose up they ran they signed whatever book they wanted to sign and they did whatever any sacrifice they wanted devil wanted them to make as they came to the devil they did that in a hurry and they did that meticulously and they did that as if this was the most important thing in life and now they are sold to the devil now if you are coming to the savior if you are coming to the lord if you are coming to the redeemer if you are coming to the giver of life and the giver of abundant life why don't you hurry up like those people hurried up when they went to the devil and then you say lord i come with all my heart i come with all my understanding i come with a decision irreversible decision lord i come and as you come the lord will take you whosoever comes to me i will in no wise cast up and he comes to you today and he says i took your lord I took your body, I took your sin, I took all the evil that you ever committed in your life. Come, and as you come, salvation will come upon you immediately. And eternal life will come to you. Abundant life will come to you in Jesus' name. You know, somebody says, you know, Pastor, I'm living from hand to mouth. And I could barely feed what, what I have. When I'm all right, when things are fine, and when I have a good life, when I have all the provision I need, then I will come. Why are you making yourself to suffer? Look at what I read to you in the Bible. In John chapter 10, verse 10, I am come that you will have life and that you will have life more abundantly. While you are poor, that's when you come. When you are sick, that's when you come. When you are in misery, that's when you come. When you are troubled, that's when you come. When you appear to have nothing, that's when you come. When you are living from hand to mouth and there is nothing to take care of yourself and your family, that's when you come because he said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have that life abundantly. I welcome you tonight. You are coming into life. You are coming into abundant life. And the Lord will bless you with that abundance of heaven, even tonight in Jesus' name. And let me tell you the history now. I'm going to point number two. Point number two is the history of forgotten virtues of displaced dreamers. Can you think of, you know, somebody is going for the exam and he forgot pen, paper behind can you think about somebody is going for a job and he forgets certificate and all that they want to see that will qualify him he leaves everything behind can you think of somebody is going for dominion and he wants authority he wants power he leaves all the virtues behind and he says i want dominion 
I want authority, I want power, and the virtue that leads us to that dominion. He forgets that. And the God of heaven, the mighty God, and the God of wonders, and the God of miracles that will give him that dominion, he leaves all that behind, and then he goes empty-handed, no heart, no mind, no decision, no desire, no virtue, no goodness at all. And he says, I'm looking for dominion. He will search for a long time. You may not get what he's looking for, but when you understand that many people, that's the way they have lived, they make the history of the people that forget virtues and then they have displaced dreams. The dream they had, the desires they had, the ambition they had, and the thing, aspiration, I want to be this, I want to be that, all that now is displaced. I'm praying for you that you will not be among the losers in life in Jesus' name. That when you come to Christ, you know sometimes when we say if you want Jesus Christ to be your Savior, raise up your mind, they bear your hand. The people that raise up their hand, but their mind is not supporting that raised hand. The decision is not supporting that raised hand. Other people are doing it and they just do it for malady. But when your heart, your mind, your soul, your decision, your determination, your diligence, everything you've got, in you tells you you are the man Christ is looking for you are the woman Christ is looking for and with your heart with your mind with your soul with a real decision and diligence in your heart you raise up that hand at that moment your life will turn around and that's what you are going to do tonight when you raise up your hand you'll do it with all your mind all your heart all your soul you do it with all the strength and diligence and decision within you and the lord will not cast you away the lord will not cast me away i said the lord will not cast me away the lord will be there he will see you tonight and you will have what you are asking for in jesus name can i show you some people look at deuteronomy chapter 32 and i'm reading from verse 18 deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 18 of the rock that begat them of the rock that begat thee thou art unmindful those are the people they forget that they are not here by themselves they forget there is a creator in heaven there is a powerful mighty creating force from heaven of the rock that begat thee thou art unmindful and has forgotten god and has forgotten god maybe somebody protests there and says me i don't forget god and i tell you what happened on Sunday, you say you remember God and then you go to church. After church service, you resume the lying, the deception, the drunkenness, the strife. Everything God said not to do, you plunge into them as if that is your full-time job on earth. You have forgotten God. When you lie, you have forgotten God. When you deceive others, you forget God. When you are hypocritical and you say you are what you are not, you forget God. And when you steal, you know the money is there, you look here, you look there, and you don't see anybody, but you didn't look up. There's somebody up there and is looking down at you. And then you still, you're forgotten God. When you go to places you don't want other people, other dignified people to know, niche people, they mustn't hear this, they must not see this. When you do those things, you are forgotten God. When you do something indecent, and you go through all that they call it internet social media and you surf there and you're looking at those uh, pictures there and it inflames your heart you look here and there there's nobody watching god is watching you have forgotten god every every word will speak every action of our hand every place we go everything every idea we entertain our heart if he does if he does not synchronize with 
the plan of God, the word of God, the desire of God, the commandment of God, we forgot God. It says, and has forgotten God that formed thee. It happened to Israel as a whole nation. It happened to individuals in the world as individuals. It happens to everyone today that when we talk, we don't remember God. When we act, we don't remember God. And the history of everyone is the history of forgetting God. But today, you will turn around. I will turn around. Where are you? I will turn around. And then you see, I've been a forgetful person all my life. And everything I learn, religious or secular, will forget. And because we forget, that's why we have the trouble we have. But Lord, I want you to do something for me. Forget all my transgressions. Forgive all my sins and then give me a new nature, a new life that will remember that I am a saved man, a saved woman. And whatever I do from now on, I'll remember the God of heaven before I put my hand on anything. The Lord will answer your prayer. Number three now is the healing of the healing of feeble victims of diverse diseases. There is healing. I said there is healing. Now when we're talking about healing, many people, they limit healing to, I have pain in this, my hand. I want the Lord to heal me. Yes, I understand it will heal you. Other people, I have this tumor and this growth in my tummy. I want the Lord to heal. Of course, he will heal you. But our brain needs healing i don't want to go to you know scientific description of the cells and all the neutrons and the connections in our brain but you know there are times when the brain is not serving us the way it ought to serve us because the cells there and all the things there that should be well connected they are scattered they are in disarray and because of that our brain needs healing and sometimes in different parts of our body, there's a pain that is there. I take it to the doctor and the doctor looks at it with all his machine and x-ray. He says, man, you're fine. I said, doctor, I'm not fine. Look at the pain here. Let your machine detect that. He said, my machine cannot detect anything. The man is dying. And yet the machine says, you're all right. Now, the Lord can see what the machine cannot see. And then tonight, as you bring that to the Lord, the Lord will heal you in Jesus' name. Sometimes, it's a broken, when we say broken, a bottle is broken, you cannot put water in there because it's broken. A kettle is broken. You cannot do anything with that kettle. It's a broken kettle. Sometimes the man is broken. The vicissitudes of life, activities of life, and the things that come to destroy man on earth has come to him. His heart is broken. His life is broken. His family is broken. His profession is broken. His dream is broken. His head is broken. The bones are broken. Everything in his life broken. It's a broken man. It's a broken woman. And then when you come to Christ, there'll be healing for you tonight. Your broken heart, it will heal. Your broken life, it will heal. Your broken family, it will heal in Jesus' name. And then tonight, you will praise the Lord because there's healing spiritual. There's healing in your soul. There's healing in your body. There is healing in every part of your life. Total healing, complete healing, full healing. Tonight, in your life, in Jesus' name. If your eyes are blind, it will open your eyes. Amen. Give me a good, good amen. amen. Somebody says, but pastor, I'm not blind. Is that so? Is that so? There was a woman in the Bible. She had, she had a child. And she had a bottle of water to take care of that child. And the bottle of water finished. And all around, she couldn't see 
any water to give the child. And then she began to cry. And as she cried, she turned the other way. She didn't want to see the death of the child. And God spoke from heaven. And God opened her eyes and behold, a well of water. A well of water that can fill many bottles, all the bottles of need in her life. Before her eyes were opened, she didn't see that. How many people go through life blind? blind to the goodness of God and blind to the provision of God and tonight the Lord says I've been waiting for you to call upon me because I'm going to open your eyes tonight you will see what will profit you you will see what will benefit you and your life will take a new turn tonight in Jesus name let me read to you now from Psalm 103. I'm reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, all that is within me. The man was not a scientist, a doctor, but when he said all that is within me, he said, I cannot begin to mention the kidney and the liver and the small intestine and the large intestine. I cannot begin to mention all the bones in my body I cannot begin to mention all the nerves but then everyone every part of my body now receiving the blessing of the Lord and he said all that is within me bless his holy name you will bless the Lord I said you will bless the Lord every part of your body internal external the one that will see and the one we don't see will experience the healing touch of the Lord tonight in Jesus name Look at verse 2 there. It says in verse 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. There's no small benefit. There's no moderate, medium benefit. There's no lack benefit. All the benefits, forget not all his benefits. Now he's going to mention to you. Look at verse 3 there. It says, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? How many of your sins will he forgive? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Now, you see the people, when they have come to God, and then God says, what do you want? I want forgiveness. What kind of forgiveness do you want? I want forgiveness for all my iniquities. And God says, I'm a God of love, a God of forgiveness. And because you come, and because you believe on the only begotten Son of God, I forgive you. Then he says, thank you, Lord, tonight my sins are forgiven. And then tomorrow morning, they wake up again and they say, oh God, I'm a miserable sinner. I'm a miserable person. I'm a sinner. And God says, what are you talking about? Did you commit sin in the night in your sleep? I forgive you last night. What are you talking about now? Once he has forgiven us, he forgets all that we have done. And when God forgives you tonight, is total forgiveness. I said it's total forgiveness. And we don't have to be coming back and coming back. Oh Lord, I'm bad, I'm evil, I'm miserable, I'm wretched, I'm a sinner, I'm the greatest sinner in the world. We don't need to do that and browbeat ourselves. Who oh, forgiveth all thine iniquities. And then look at the next verse there. Who oh, healeth? Who oh, healeth? Tell me. Who oh, healeth? Tell me. If you have the Bible, if you don't have the Bible, listen to somebody near you there. Who healeth, tell me. All. Who healeth all. He'll heal your brain. He'll heal your mind. He'll heal that tumor. He'll take that goiter away. And all the things that cause disease and pain in your life. You are bedridden. The power of the Lord will come there tonight. Raise you up in Jesus' name. All iniquities, all diseases on the one side, all sin he'll forgive. On the other side, all sicknesses he will heal. And that is your benefit tonight. That is your benefit tonight. But do you see what God does? If you look at that verse, if you have your Bible there, it says, Who forgiveth 
thine all thine iniquities that's what we're called it's semicolon it says i want to finish with this i want to give you assurance for this i want to settle this one forgive all your iniquities but it's no full stop there that means don't then rise up and go back home God is not finished yet. Uh, you, you see the man that went for operation. And then as he went for operation, the doctor did all that he needed to do, opened him up, and then eventually, while they have put everything in place, they now want to seal up everything and sew everything in. Uh, and the man wakes up from the anesthesia, and then he rises up and he's going. And the doctor says, come, come, come. The open one there, we need to close it up. When God has forgiven you. You don't try to stop and run away. Now he wants to do the next thing and he will heal all your sicknesses. All my sicknesses. Tonight. 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 Forgiveness for you. Tonight. Healing for you. Tonight. Salvation for you. Tonight. Total deliverance for you. One, he'll do that one. Don't run away yet. And two, he will do the second one. And then you'll be a complete man tonight. A complete woman tonight. Your soul, your spirit, your body, everything will have the touch of heaven tonight in Jesus' name. Am I talking to somebody there today? What's the person I'm talking to right there? it will come upon your life this is your time and this is your day eyes closed and heads bowed heads bowed and eyes closed this is the time now you have with the lord the lord alone and this is a decision between you and the lord he wants to forgive all sins you ever committed in your life just at a go he wants to do that right now whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved you are there and you want the guilt to go away the condemnation to go away the punishment of sin to be taken away you want to enjoy the freedom and the forgiveness of sin from the lord wherever you are raise up that hand there and say yes lord i'm here yes lord i'm here and i'm not just raising my hand with absent mindedness with my heart with my soul with my mind with my decision in all the in all dedication i raise up that hand. wherever you are wherever you are there you want that forgiveness of the lord the lord is present there and the lord beholds you and sees you there raise up that hand if you are raising up your hand god bless you can you stand up can you stand up there and say yes lord i am a candidate for the forgiveness of the lord i am a candidate for the salvation of the lord you are raising up your hand stand up very well now very quickly now with all your heart with all your decision you say bye bye to the sins of the past you say bye bye to all those evil things of the past and say lord i come lord i come lord I come and it will give you that forgiveness and that salvation right now stand up stand up don't waste time and don't keep the Lord waiting the Lord is waiting and he wants to give you he wants to load you with that blessing of forgiveness and salvation and of a, an assurance that now you belong to him raise up your hand and stand up god bless you there as you are standing up tell the lord and say lord i come lord i come lord i come i want your forgiveness i believe that jesus died for me on the cross of calvary and now i come because of his redemption i come because of the sacrifice of jesus christ on the cross of Calvary, I believe, I believe, I believe you are a merciful God, a gracious God, and you forgive me right now. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep on standing. Father, we well, thank you at this time and bless your name. We well, thank you because you are a great God, a good God, a gracious God. And whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise cast away. Oh Lord, I come. 
grant me your forgiveness grant everyone their forgiveness and lord i pray assurance of salvation will come to every life right now confirm it in every heart lord in jesus name we pray god bless you it is done i said it is done say i am saved say i am forgiven confirmation in your life in jesus name that's number one i'll come back for number two very soon now but we'll call on our overseer uh, to lead us in this time of um, counseling god bless you I congratulate you for what you have done, the decision you have taken tonight. We want all our counselors to please go around and meet with the people. The counselors will be around you. They will give you a form to fill. Be sincere about that. The Lord has touched you. He has forgiven you. Supply the correct information required from you. And for those online, you will see the number on the screen. Make use of that. Fill the form and submit. The Lord has done something good in your life. The greatest miracle is what you have received now. By deciding for the Lord, make sure you fill the form correctly and return that to our counselors. Counselors, let's go around to people at the back, to my right hand side, to the left hand side. If you can write, you can collect the form and write yourself. And if you cannot, give them the right information concerning you. For the rest of us, let's keep praying. Miracles without number is registered for all tonight. You will not miss yours. Let our counselors go around quickly, fill the form. Those on social media, whether you are at home and you have decided or anywhere, fill the form right now and return it to the counselors. The power of God is coming upon you. Let's be in the mood of prayer, expecting something great from the Lord. You will not go back home empty handed tonight. Keep praying, keep asking from the Lord. Until the servant of God will come back again with anointing to break the... Good evening, everyone. It's been an amazing time here at the Alpha location here at Abbey Okuta. We have listened to the man of God. We have listened to that great message. 
but this is the time to take a decision. This is the time to take a decision. And I know for you that you have given your life to Christ right now, whether you're listening on Facebook, you're listening on YouTube, you're listening to us via Instagram, or you're on Zoom or satellite, this is the time to fill the form right there on your screen. Go to DCLM dot org forward slash connect with christ gclm dot org forward slash connect with christ we need that your database so that we can follow you up so that we can meet with you our leaders can talk with you our leaders can help you to grow in christ don't forget gclm dot org forward slash connect with christ and for you that you are seated there listening to this great message together at this complete dominion global crusade Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will soon be coming back with that prayer, the prayer that will give you complete dominion. You don't want to miss it. And right now, I'll be looking at the comment very soon. I want you to drop your comment right now. What are you expecting God to do? Because you need to have, you need to ask. And right now, we'll soon be going to the final prayer, the complete dominion prayer, the prayer of the man of God. Don't forget, this is a field ground. The ground is... A happy place right now. A lot of people are here. People are praying, ready to receive from God. The governor is here. The cabinet is here. Ministers of the gospel are here. And Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi is coming very soon now to give us the final prayer. You don't want to miss it. Be expectant. Be ready. Complete dominion is coming your way. I would link your us back right now to the Alpha location. Thank you. If you are finished, raise up your hand and let me see you. Cancellors, let's do that very quickly. We have double blessing tonight. This is the fourth section. If you are finished, just wave your hands to me so that we can see you. To my right hand side, counselors, have you finished? Thank you. I can see you at the middle. If you are finished, wave your hand to me and let me see you. To my left hand side, if you are finished, counselors, can you please wave your hand and let me see you. Let's hurry up. In the language section, if you are finished, wave to me and let me see your hand. The Bidu, have you finished? Counselors, wave your hand at the center there if you are finished. To my left hand side at the extreme end, counselors there, have you finished? And you wave your hand to me if you are finished. Should be getting ready. The anointed servant of God is coming. Very soon, the yoke will be broken. Let's rise up as we welcome him. Are you clapping or tapping your hand? <laughs> Praise the Lord! Did you see those people around the Jericho walls? And they walked around Jericho. And then uh, the Jericho walls were still there. And they were so happy they knew the Jericho walls would fall. 
and they shouted and they were happy before the healing comes where are you it's coming i said it's coming miracle upon your life healing upon your life who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth 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 now you may, maybe you don't understand king james bible english he didn't say healed or will heal but at this very time now over there over there look at that person there and look at that person there who heals all thy diseases is coming your way raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge your healing has arrived your deliverance has arrived miracle arriving right now where you are online any country any continent any congregation where you are there healing time has come miracle time has come when we say the final amen amen means so let it be and so it is you'll discover that miracle in your body right there it's up the hand and lay the other hand where you have the problem your eyes are blind your bones are broken you are paralyzed you are lame you have cancer you have tumor whatever it is your healing has come father in jesus name the god of wonders the god of power the god of deliverance and the god of triumph and victory come unto all your people heal them in jesus name from the top of there to the tip of the toe every part of their body every part of their lives receive the miracle touch right now receive the healing in jesus name thine eyes i command you be open and begin to see deaf and dumb receive the touch of the lord and begin to hear and begin to speak all the tumor all the swelling in your body i pray like a balloon that air will get out and the balloon will come flashing together swelling come out in jesus name I pray for those who have incurable terminal disease like cancer, like kidney problem, whatever you've been going through, that this is. And I pray the Lord touch you right now. The Lord heal you right now. And receive the healing touch of the Lord in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other. I pray that short leg now will grow out in the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. The hands are withered and the legs are paralyzed. The power of God from heaven come upon you right now. With that hand, behold, in Jesus' name. And those paralyzed legs, arthritis or stroke, I pray the Lord will touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that every sickness, every infirmity, every disease, everything will leave your body confirmation in every life manifestation in every life and the oppression of the power of god in every life now in jesus name you are healed you are healed you are delivered that the manifestation of miracle in your life right now and as you open your eyes you open your eyes to the miracle to the healing to the deliverance in jesus name we thank you lord because we know it is done it is done it is done in jesus name i pray amen your miracle is there amen your deliverance is there the healing is there check up right now you've got a testimony